This was the face of a happy gay man who found his Swiffer duster Staub magnet kit. What? Staub. What's a Staub magnet? In today's episode, how are you doing? Welcome to Stories of My Life. So I'm up. But I'm not out of bed yet, because I've been lying in bed, editing videos, just chilling. Ulf, by the way, woke up all by himself, because I thought I wouldn't wake him. Uh, because, let him sleep, I said, because obviously he needs sleeping. So, um, he woke by himself at 10 o'clock, knocked on my door, offering coffee. So, maybe today we'll do some work. It's Ulf is trying to put together a moving box. Yes, a box specifically made for moving. It's the box's fault. <laughs> so Ulf is going to try a new one. Alu's fault, isn't it? Mine or the box? It's the box's fault. Because? The carrying... I think this sort of... This picture here doesn't belong to this box, so... Uh, say it again. The box was stupid, not me. Yes. When in doubt, always blame the box. People, I, Hercule Poirot, solved the riddle. The thing with those weird sort of holes, it's just when you buy this in the store, you can carry it like that because you can't do it at any other place, which is kind of stupid. Okay, start working, Hercule. <laughs> I think someone is about to get killed. So people, this is where we were the day before yesterday, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, Ulf just found this hat and we had a problem knowing that it was a hat because what does this hat do? <laughs> it's foldable. So we thought first that it was a uh, fan. Look. That's your hat. Ingenious. You too can look this beautiful. So we found this old fur hat and I think Ulf suits it. You suit it, it suits you. Yes. You should, you, you, this is something you should definitely think about keeping. Yes. Oh my God. It's versatile, versatile. And it's mink. It's mink? Yeah. Oh, his father's practically blind. <laughs> was it? He was practically blind in that eye, so that wasn't a use. This, this was blind. This was, that was blind. This one he could sort of <laughs> use. <laughs> this is a fashion statement. <laughs> so four trash bags to donate and this to recycle. Oh, damn it. People, after a quick coffee, we're now off to Goodwill to donate and then lunch. Good. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm sh here. Shut up. Yes, people, we are crossing the bridge. This is the Sundsvall Bay. Is it called the Sundsvall Bay? No, through the Sundsvall. Sundsvall Channel. Fjärden. Fjärden. Yes, people. people this is Bista. So here we are about to donate some trash. <laughs> Remember when I talked 
told you people were talkative here. If this was in Stockholm, they would just sort of say, put it there. <laughs> now we're going to go buy a Swiffer, because Ulf desperately needs one. A Swiffer? Yeah. So here we go, people. We need to buy more trash bags and a Swiffer. I like saying that word, Swiffer. 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 It's Swiffer. So people, it's summer and suddenly it's winter. It should say winter, shouldn't it? Just, not just this. Wolf is looking for a Swiffer. He's getting impatient. The testosterone is boiling inside his trim body. Swiffer, he says. Swiffer or die. He's a man of few words. He needs a Swiffer. <laughs> Has he found it? No. He's a man lost in a word of cleaning supplies. And his friend, the fat one, is of no help. Not quite sure what a Swiffer is, really. I ain't saying nothing. This is the face of a happy gay man who found his Swiffer duster Staub magnet kit. What? Staub. What's a Staub magnet? Staub magnet. Staub magnet. Oh, Staub magnet. Maybe dust. Don't you need that? No. Don't you need these? No. You just need that? Yes. Oh, you come here to Norilam just by that. Oh God! Is that ninety nine? Ninety nine? Forty nine. It's really expensive. Yeah. Oh. Are you happy with your Swiffer? Yes. Okay. That's all that. Can okay, you turn around like it? This is an information and I say I'm so happy with my Swiffer. I'm so happy with my Swiffer. <laughs> we decided that that is where we want to eat and we can't get to it. We can't find the road. Oh, there it is. It's across the lawn. Yes. So we just, we've been almost round the block. Not, we just turned before we got there. Here we go, people. Last time we were here, it's about six days ago. No. Wait, no, two, two Mondays ago. No, one Monday ago, well. In my mind, they were playing this song last time we were here. So every, this restaurant looked exactly the same as the last one. Ulf ordered a deal. But he wanted to exchange. Not a deal. Not a deal? He wanted a couple of hamburger and a oh. shake. He wanted a hamburger and a shake, and he wanted fries. He didn't want fries. He didn't want fries, he wanted a burger and then. Then they charged him for a deal and for that extra. And they didn't even give him the soda. So it's, it's really, he paid 175 Swedish krona for this. And if he just ordered a deal and an extra uh, milkshake, he would have paid 164. So now he paid more than that, but he didn't get a soda. So people, we're gonna go in here just to cheer Ulf up because I have a miserable, miserable experience at the burger place. So let's put a smile on his face. 
do some dancing. He refuses. He's still in one of his moods. I think we're gonna serve him wine tonight. He's got this one and he's got this one. And now he might have this one. You know, maybe not. This was better, but he said he already has one just like it. And then I said, well, maybe not buying that then. I like this colour, but then who, who wants a hoodie that says burrito? Basically, if you work at a place called burrito, you won't. Or your name maybe is burrito. If you want the whole world to know your name. If you really, really, really loves burrito, then of course, this is the sort of hoodie for you. So I'm just going to buy that one. Against better judgment, me being the better judgment. Well, there's nothing wrong with work coats. This is a worker's coat, your bourgeois pink. <laughs> <laughs> oink, oink. If you lo look long enough in this store, you always find something. Look at that. Yes, I might buy it. People, I tried it on and it did not make me feel pretty. So, up yours. Olaf's phone. This is Olaf in a hoodie that totally matches his phone. Well, you need to buy it. But then how will you find your phone? Now, people, he decided he do not want that. Instead, he might want to buy an orange raincoat. Happier? Mm. Yeah. Good. Sort of. It'll never last. So, people, you are in for trees. Later today, we are going to go gravestone hunting and not hunting among gravestones. We're going to go hunting for a gravestone to put on his parents' grave. Stay tuned. Or as they say in Finland, Kom tilbake, si. So people, we are now going to go down to the Baltic Sea to see if we can find some stones. And this was a particular place for your mother and father. Good. Oh, look, I'm in the picture. So, can you see the blue? People, I promise you, spectacular views, naked people and lots of money and excitement. Well, maybe just one of those things. Stay tuned for what that thing is. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.